Now I'm going to create a uh, new process inside a folder and import some data into it. And we'll take a look at the data as well. So open up RapidMiner. Hit new for creating process. In the My Repository uh, tree, I'm going to right click it, create folder. Uh, it's better to create a folder so you can keep all your um, files together. So we'll call it Vancouver Data. Hit OK. Now that's just the Vancouver Data folder, so we need to create the uh, process name. So we'll call it Vancouver Data Process. Hit OK. So now you've created the process. So let's create some, uh, let's import some data. So I've got a random, uh, randomly generated CSV file. Uh, RapidMiner can import several types of files, including CSV, Excel, uh, SPSS, database um, files of various types, uh, and including URL CSVs. But I'm just going to include a, uh, a CSV for now. So let's go to File, Import Data, Import CSV File. And I've got the mydata.csv that I created in a different application. Um, hit next. I would uh, stick with the defaults if you're not sure what you're doing. Um, but use first row as column names is useful if the first row is uh, made of column names. Um, you might want to pick comma as the separator if you know that comma is the, uh, what separates everything. And use quotes if there's a uh, there's quotes in your data as well. And hit next. Uh, if you have dates in your data, you might want to change the date format. You can also pick the data type. Uh, these are all real numbers for now. Uh, the role is important. So if you're trying to predict a value, like your y dependent variable in a standard regression, that would be you'd want to set the role to a label, which is what uh, Rabbit Miner calls that sort of data. And also if you have an identifier like a customer number or a timestamp, you want to give that an ID role. Uh, but for now you can leave everything else the same. And hit next. Now it's going to move your data into the repository uh, folder, uh, which I recommend doing. You can work with, with raw data or live data, but if you can move it into your repository, um, then that uh, keeps the metadata, such as the role, um, along with the data, which is useful. So we'll call it original data, and then hit finish, and it's imported the data. If you take a look in the repository window under my repository and your folder, it's now got the original data. Okay, it uh, shows the number of examples, the number of attributes, as well as the, uh, the range.